Big Ten. Uh, kudos to Chris and, and his team. He's, he's got them playing extremely hard, and, and uh, they got some they got some great young pieces. And that team stays together. Uh, that team will be a team that will continue to to grow. Uh, I was excited about a couple things tonight. Um, Kofi Early, uh, I thought his dominance dominance early was uh, was huge, and that's growth. We forget Kofi's a freshman, and and to take over a Big Ten game really at both ends, his presence at the front of the rim was uh, uh, got us off to a good start. Forced double teams, and then Allen, and we 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 see that all the time in practice, and we forget. You know, Allen's a sophomore and been in those moments a lot. That's growth. And to be able to ride that hot hand, uh, that feeling, that adrenaline, and, uh, uh, you know, really, uh, we had some challenges guarding them in the second half, and, and, and Allen kind of kept them at bay. So, uh, you know, Io does what Io does, uh, and, and it was tremendous in the first half. And I thought our defense the first half, especially in Cop and Bowie, was, was excellent. Uh, we wanted to keep them under five threes made. Uh, we kept them right at that, and um, uh, and then had uh, you know a Kofi night on the glass with 14 uh, to, to help us win that category. So, all in all, a very pleasing uh, road win and one we're excited about. Brad, 19 assists uh, tonight was a Big Ten high. Um, obviously, better against his own than you've been in the past. What, what was working so well with you guys? Well, we made shots. We moved the ball. Uh, you know, DeMonte doesn't get enough credit for, for his passing ability, uh, his ability to move the ball, uh, share it, spray it. And, uh, you know, we got some um, we got some great looks, guys stepping into him, ready to shoot him. Um, you know, Kofi makes a couple great passes out of the post. Uh, Georgie makes a great pass out of the post off a of double team. All those things, we, we talk about elevating each other all the time, and that's how you do it. And that was the first thing I said in the post game with our team, 19 assists. And uh, we talk a lot about that. You have a lot of guys that can t have shown they can take over a game. What, what's it mean to add somebody like Allen to that mix? Well, I was told it's our fifth player that's had 20 plus this year. Um, we're getting there. We're getting there. That's what we look for is, it, is to be a team that. Uh, this is not a one or two person team that we have multiple guys and when they check in that's a guy that comes in off the bench and, and to, to have that uh, that piece is, is pretty comforting I mean, really. with, um, you know, Alan had a hot streak earlier in the season you know, went on that run and then um, you know it seems like he's got this knack for hitting big shots that kind of give you a boost in games but do you a night like this or you know what he did earlier too do you get a sense of he's Kind of got something going on, or does he have a sense about him when he goes into a game, performs like this? Well, I think he thinks score a lot. I think that the, the problem at, at different times with him has been at consistency on the other end. I think that now we're seeing that, and then I mean, there's tremendous start to be tremendous trust. Uh, we've always known he can he can do that, uh, and we've seen it, like you said, at various times. Um, he adds another dimension, and the thing he did tonight, we all know he can shoot and rebound. The thing he did tonight was made some nice n nice drives to the basket, made a couple of nice passes. Um, Allen's becoming a really, really good college Big Ten basketball player. And, I mean, the obviously he's getting more minutes, but what other jumps has he made from last year? Oh, year? light years on the defensive end, just understanding and chemistry and, and um, you know, his, his – uh, we talk all the time about not making mistakes on the defensive end that give teams baskets. You make mistakes in the Big Ten, teams penalize you. And uh, Allen's grown so much on that end of the court. It's uh, it's just maturity and that you know he's stronger and everything else. But uh, uh, all of that is is starting to fall into place. Right? Did you contemplate getting him back out there when Northwestern cut into the deficit there in the last segment? No, we were in a good rhythm. I you know I like I like the fact that you know. The matchup with DeMonte, we started switching uh, one through four. We just didn't clean up a couple of rebounds, and uh, you know, and we and we, we made one mistake on Spencer uh, leaving him. But uh, uh, you know, it, it's uh, that, that team was a pretty good rhythm. We had a pretty good idea of what we were going to do down the stretch with uh, 
you know, with IO and, and, and Trent and the press and so on and so forth. So we were in this Coach, you mentioned that you want to get some contributions from the bench, but the bench appears to be shrinking. Tonight, outside of starters and, and Allen, um, only Kipper and Georgie were basically at spot minutes. Um, depth of issue for you moving forward, or are you happy with where you're at? It's the end of the season. No, we're in, we're in, we're in a great spot. I, Georgie, uh, Georgie's going to continue to play more. Uh, Kipper picked up 2,000, 18 seconds or whatever. Um, the plan for him was to play a lot. Uh, we, we needed Kipper tonight. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate, just one of those nights that he picks up a couple cheap ones. So, uh, you know, more of a fixture of what happened in the game than anything else. Do you feel like the team was back to where it needs to be after losing that, that, that four game news, losing streak? Oh, I, I mean, I think we're getting there. I, you know, I think this is the Big Ten, and I think everybody goes through a losing streak. Um, you know, is going to have one at some point. Uh, you know, somebody mentioned that our, this is arguably the best league in the country. You can forget that. Not that there's no arguing about it. This is the best league in the country, and you've got you got you got to play every single night. And uh, you know, if you're a little bit off, and we had Io out, um, you know, and uh, but yeah, we're we're doing some things better now, no doubt. From the beginning of the season up until a couple of weeks ago, you often said the ball was sticking. It was sticky. You haven't had to say that lately. What changed? No, again, it's that's evidenced by 19 uh, assists. It's evidenced by better three-point shooting and more consistent three-point shooting. And and uh, you know, I thought we had a, a few sloppy turnovers the first half, but for the most part, uh, we're getting much better in that area. I know you don't like to look ahead too much, but what does Allen mean for where you guys can go, just the value he provides in different areas? Well, I think you make six threes in a game. I think that gains everybody's attention. Uh, I don't know, what was it, six of eight? Uh, I think you have to pay attention to that. Uh, you know, now you can start uh, you can start game planning offensively around that. And, and, you know, we saw Kofi get off to such a great start early. and. And, and now you've got to, you know, we, Kofi's seen nothing but doubles and triples uh, almost all year. Now that becomes a little more a little more difficult when you've got a guy who can jump up and make six. And we all know Trent can do that as well as I am. Brett, I imagine there's some teachable moments giving up 40 points on 30 shots in the second half. What, what did you see defensively? Well, they caused us some problems with their size. You know, and, and, and Spencer's a really good player. I mean, it would be scary to think what he would be like had he not – been the world's greatest lacrosse player and played four years. I mean, he's physically strong, um, and uh, he's got a great mid-range floater. You know, he's just not a not a great, great shooter. But uh, you know, with, with with his size, he causes us some problems. I thought we did a great job on Bowie. Um, we were really dialed in on him and Miller, and uh, you know, that was something that uh, uh, you know we wanted to be that in the in the three-point line. Uh, but uh, we knew somebody was going to score, and Spencer was going to play. Brad, uh, I'm sure you noticed the support for you guys in the crowd tonight. Um, How awesome is that? Yeah, right. Um, a lot of Illinois fans made it out here to see you guys play your first Big Ten winning season in the better part of a decade. What does it mean to just see that, that passion from the fan base coming up here and, and kind of taking over an opposing arena? Well, I, I've said it many times. And I, the, the Illinois program left a footprint on me many, 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 many years ago, and it was this, and it was State Farm Center packed, and it was the passion of the fans, and, and uh, you know, it just, it makes you smile uh, when you're a part of it. I mean, that, 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 that's an unbelievable feeling uh, to know how proud our fans are of us. You walk around with your head held high, and, you know, I'm damn proud to be a part of it. I, I mean, this is, I get to live my dream. <coughs> doing this and for our fans to come see these guys and, and that means a lot uh, you know we sure as the heck don't take it for granted but it's an awesome feeling and, and we're very appreciative of, of, of all that love and support going off the depth question um, what does it say about your team though that you've been able to kind of survive this offensive slump by Georgie that you know Trent's one of nine three point tonight um, uh, a starter Andre's one of eight but you know, you kind of don't even notice that when you see the totality of the game. What's that mean 
you do, I'm sure, but <laughs> what's it mean kind of for the team to be able to have other parts to overcome maybe off nights by some guys? Well, one, it's tremendous growth because Trent going one for nine probably meant the first two years he wasn't going to guard very well. Um, obviously, he's doing that at an elite level. I think he's the elite uh, on-ball defender in this league. And, uh, but it's, it's what we've talked about since the spring, since the offseason. Uh, let's not worry about whether that thing goes in all the time because we know it doesn't. Okay, so he goes one for nine. Now we're now Allen goes six for eight. Um, somebody's there to pick us up. But the one thing we can control is what we do on the defensive side and, uh, and on the rebounding side. And we've made huge strides there. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a change we knew we had to make at the end of last year. And um, you know, I think one of the probably things I'm probably the most disappointed in tonight was you know I thought we fouled too much in the first half. But uh, uh, that's how you win. You know, you win with defense. And you know, if you're not scoring, just better make darn sure the other team isn't scoring either. So that and rebounding have, have been a big part of that. Seems like a broken record question, Brad, but 13 offensive rebounds. I know Kofi gets five. The other eight have to come from somebody. And are you impressed with this team being able to go get the ball off the glass when Kofi's just not in there? Yeah, but I want more. You know, I want more. I mean, it's, it's you know, DeMonte's a really good rebounder, and I, I keep challenging DeMonte. You know, his freshman year, I mean, he had games of five or six and on the offensive glass. Allen gives us that. Uh, you know, Andres Feliz gives us that. They just find the ball. Uh, we keep emphasizing that a bunch, and uh, you know we've got to we've got to keep grinding it out. When 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 Trent goes one for nine, we need a lot of offensive rebounds. But I also tell our guys every shot it's a pass, and let's think about it that way. But uh, you know it was uh, something we it's 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 our identity. It's who we are. Yeah, there was a stretch there that Kofi for a few games it was just struggling to corral some passes and maybe letting some go. We haven't seen that lately. Have you, you mentioned slowing down? What's the process as a coaching staff to get him to you know, follow through with that physical? Well, I think it was more focused than anything because I think the one thing we know is, you know, when, when, when Kofi wants a ball, Kofi goes and gets a ball. Uh, you know, I think it's just a focus and a, and a mental approach. So, you know, he, he, Kofi's getting better every day, you know, and I mean, just think he's year four or five and figuring this game out. I mean, we all start playing in the fourth grade or third grade, and you know, this kid's just, you know, he's played soccer and cricket his whole life, you know, so uh, he, he's, he's just starting to get the hang of this. Coach, last season, that must be the last question again. Last season was one of the worst for the program in, in decades, record wise. And now, fast Thanks forward. Thanks for reminding me. Made my, <laughs> made, my, made, my, made, my, made my nod. So, fast forward a year later, and now you've clinched the best conference record for 10 years with three games remaining in the, the conference schedule. What does that say about the guys and the work they put in this offseason? It's growth. It's just growth. It's a process. You know, there's no substitute for building. You know, you don't just you don't just turn around one day and you've got your house built. You've got to start with the foundation. You've got to dig the hole. Um, that's not fun. That's that's not fun. But I take a tremendous amount of pride in thinking we uh, we had some hiccups. We had some speed bumps. Um, but that locker room is incredible, and and the character in that locker room, I mean, is it speaks speaks volumes um, to the type of people they are. Not basketball players. We started with people first. And uh, you can grow when you've got great, great people. And, you know, they have to be really good basketball players. But now there's maturity, uh, there's experience, there's confidence. Uh, we're still really young. And yet uh, there, there, there's a tremendous amount of experience uh, present. So uh, I, it's something I'm really, really proud of. I mean, it's, a, it's you know, building's not easy. And, uh, Illinois basketball, we're... we're we're getting it. It's not where it needs to be yet, but we're 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 climbing the mountain. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Alan Kofi and Kyle out here in this hallway at the locker room.